Hi, my name is Piotr and I'm a senior software engineer here at Webby. Today, we'll talk about webhooks at Webby. What are webhooks? Um, webhooks are user-defined callbacks triggered by meeting events uh, in our case. Um, for example, if someone joins a, your, your room or joins one of your rooms uh, within your organization, uh, we can let your application know uh, via URL callback that someone joined a room or someone left it or a meeting started or ended. Um, in order to demonstrate how they work, um, I prepared a simple Node.js application. Um, it's 30 lines long and it starts a server on my local machine. Um, and it has one endpoint uh, called API. And all that this endpoint does is showing the payload of the request that comes to it. Uh, and this is this will be where by sending webhooks um, to, to my application. So we'll be able to inspect everything that you can learn from a webhook uh, that will be sent to your application. Um, so I can show you in the terminal that the application is running already. Um, and in order to allow Webby to communicate with my laptop, I have already started ngrock and they will redirect requests from their domain to my computer so that uh, I have access to it. So um, this is my URL. Let's copy and paste it into Webby. You can add webhooks in the configure section of our dashboard right at the bottom of it. Let's paste it. And there's two things in here to configure. One of them is secret. Um, secret is a way for you to make sure that it's actually where by sending requests to your, to your webhook, to your endpoint, um, because this is a public endpoint on the internet and anyone technically can send anything to it. So in order to make sure that no one is trying to trick your application into thinking that they are whereby, uh, you can verify it using the secret and you'll be certain that it's us, not someone else. Um, so it is quite important to do it in production application. We'll skip it for now. And uh, here are all of the events that Webby supports. Um, there's four of them. Uh, there's room client events, joint and left, which is, I think, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, whenever a client joins your room or leaves, uh, leaves it, um, you can get notified of it. And there's also room session events. Uh, room session is sort of a call concept in Webby. Uh, session starts when there's two or more clients in the room and it ends sometime after there's fewer than two clients in the room. Uh, so let's get notified of all of these. Save it. Um, it is saved as you can see. And now I already have one of my rooms ready right here and let's try joining it. And now let's go to the terminal to see whether we received anything from the webhook. There you go. Um, so we have one event. Um, the type of the event is room client joint. Uh, we receive the room name, uh, meeting ID, role of the client that joined. Uh, in this case, I own the, the web by organization. So it is the owner who joined. Um, this number of clients, I'm the only person in that room, the only client in that room, so uh, there's one client in there. Um, and also, if you're interested in uh, number of clients by role name, we also provide that. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is what you can see. This is what you get from us in a webhook. Uh, let's try to leave the room. And again, uh, we get notified of it immediately. Uh, the room client left is the type and there's no clients in the room anymore because I was the only one, as you can see. Um, 
There is one more parameter that I did not mention, and it's a metadata parameter. Uh, it is empty, it's no in my example, uh, but I think it's quite powerful. Uh, let me show you how to use it. So metadata parameter is something that you can add to the URL yourself um, uh, in a query string. And I will just set it to hello from URL uh, for the lack of better idea. Let's open it and join. And we got a webhook of me joining the room again. And as you can see, the metadata is not no anymore. It is hello from URL. Um, this is something that you can use, for example, to pass client or, for example, student ID in case of an e-learning platform. Uh, you can pass a student ID uh, in the URL, and then that will let you know if the student joined the room or, for example, joined the class. Um, that way you can track the absence uh, or presence of the students in the room, uh, see how long they stayed, if they left mid-class, mid uh, and all the details like that. Um, there's many more cases for metadata. Uh, this is probably one of the most obvious ones, but uh, long story short, it allows you to track some sort of ID throughout your whole system from the client machine where you embed the room uh, all the way to your API in which we'll just pass it over without touching it. Um, and that's all about webhooks at Webby. Um, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.